Welcome, I'm Jessica. I'm Mary. And I'm Farouk. And we're here today to tell you about a place we love, Shriners Hospitals for Children. There have been many times when I have felt like Shriners has really been my second home. This is the lobby, a busy place. The Shriners sitting here, most are here because they have driven a patient and a parent to the hospital. Not only is our care here free, but if you need help getting here, the Shriners provide transportation. The clinic is usually the first place where you meet your doctor. And the clinic is also where I got most of my treatments. Most Shriners kids have never spent the night at the hospital before. The nurses call you into the clinic room. The children love the clinic room because of the toys, books, and puzzles, and the chalkboards. Well, actually, I love the chalkboards too because the trays move to my size. And the exam beds move up and down too. The great thing about Shriners is that you don't just have a doctor or a nurse, you have a whole team. This is my team, speech therapist, audiologist, dentist, dental assistant, nurse, nurse, psychologist, ear, nose, and throat surgeon, social worker, medical photographer, and my surgeon would be here, but he's currently in OR. This is the cast room. They could put on or take off cast from seven kids at once here. For the little kids, they have movies and toys so you feel at home. And a child life specialist can come and work with you here if you are in pain or scared. This is where the cleft lip and palate clinic is held. We see a number of experts here. Uh, we have a large waiting room and our big board where the experts keep track of everything we do, including our lunches and flights for the patients who come from far away. They took models of my mouth here in the dental lab and there was a minor procedure room next door where I had my stitches removed. I learned so much while I was here as a patient that I decided to come back in college and volunteer. These are the radiology rooms. When you have brittle bone disease like I do, you break a lot of bones. When I was little, I used to love the fish murals. I used to pretend I was swimming with the mermaids. This is pre-op holding. Parents can come in here with you before surgery. Then the nurses wheel you into surgery. There are four operating rooms, and here is how they look. But of course, you are generally asleep when you come in here, so you don't have the chance to see these yourself on the day of surgery. When your surgery is over, they wheel you into post-anesthesia care unit where you stay for a couple of hours. Your parents can come in here to be with you after you start to wake up. If you've had an especially serious surgery, you may have to stay for a while in the pediatric intensive care unit where there are lots of different kinds of monitors and a special doctor to watch you. Your parents can still be with you, you just have to have a specially trained nurse who's with you too. After surgery, you can't move very well and it's great to have the inpatient nurses take care of you so promptly. And if you need someone to talk to even at 3 in the morning, nurse station is a great place to be. I thought the inpatient rooms had a ton of space so everybody can have visitors at the same time. Most patients have a parent's aid with them while they're in the hospital. There are also bedrooms upstairs for your mom or dad. For teenagers, if you're here a while, it's really nice to have some privacy. This is the rehab department. I've spent a lot of time here. The physical and occupational therapists work you hard to help you regain the skills you need after an accident like mine, but they are so much fun. The pool is great for people with spinal cord injuries who often have problems with temperature regulation. Let me tell you, when it's 20 degrees in Chicago, it feels great to be in a pool kept at 96 degrees. And we also use the pool for scuba instruction. That's where I first put on a wetsuit. Later, I got to go to the Florida Keys with members of Shriners to be certified in scuba. This is the Occupational Therapy Kitchen, where the therapists work with us to make meals together. But even better is the Transition Apartment. Such a clever idea. Today we're making chicken mole and a yummy dessert. People can come here to learn how to live independently. It's a great place to stay for a week, say, before you go off to college, to convince yourself you can do everything yourself. And it doesn't hurt to convince your mom you can do it too. The Teen Lounge is a great place to hang out. Besides the recreation therapist, adults are not allowed to come in here when the kids are in here. There's so many activities to do at night, like cooking and gaming. Movie night is great, and everyone comes out, even kids in special beds and IVs. And having a pool table outside is full cool too. Ah, uh, the mall, the family room of the hospital. Isn't it cool? Everybody is so surprised when they walk in this huge room, see huge windows, live trees, and lots of games. When you're not in rehab, you're usually hanging out here. There's so many activities, crafts, pet therapy, and even wheelchair basketball. With the game, systems, and sports, this doesn't feel like a hospital at all. I loved wheelchair basketball. The family library is a nice, quiet place with computers, books, and comfy chairs. 
It is also a good place for the teacher to work with you on your lessons. In the cafe, there are all kinds of different foods, all healthy. For those of us who are watching our calories, there's a salad bar. The staff at Shriners is always encouraging us in healthy habits. There's a huge playground and garden right outside the mall. It has equipment for kids with and without disabilities so they can all play together. They even have therapy tools right in the playground. The track is a great place to do laps in your wheelchair. Or even better yet, ride the adaptive hand cycles. Healthy habits only become habits if you practice them regularly. We'd love to have you visit us. Just call 773-622-5400 and we'll set it up. Thanks for letting us show you the place we love.